we have people marrying themselves, being normal. Family members in sexual relations with each other is becoming normal. Being biologically born, neither male or female, is becoming normal. A robot having a baby is becoming the normal. Robots receiving citizenship is becoming normal. Baby robots being placed in the birth register is becoming normal. Calling someone who just had a baby a mother is soon to become discrimination. Our smartphones have now become an extension to our penis. Well, mankind has finally done it. There's now a sex tracking wearable gadget. It's called the Icon and it's marketed as the world's first smart condom, but it's not actually a condom at all. It's a ring that sits at the base of the condom, like a Fitbit for your man bits. But instead of tracking your calories burned during a walk, it's tracking calories burned during sex. How, you ask? Well, there is plenty of data this doohickey is gathering, such as the speed and quantity of thrust, the velocity of thrust, average skin temperature, and girth measurement. And best of all, you can share all of this data with friends or compare it to the world. So now we live in a universe where there are app leaderboards for thrust velocity. But thankfully, we can count on the internet to share varying positions on the matter, like reminding us how this gives partners precise scientific data to point out how disappointing you are. I did 4,303 thrusts last night to Julie. That's three more thrusts than I did to Vanessa. Speechless.